Now, one of the most popular videos that we've, we've published here on our YouTube channel is how to back up files and folders to an external hard drive in Windows 10. Lots of people have commented on that video and asked how they can take it a step further. How can they take a backup of the whole hard drive? That includes Windows 10 itself and any applications. Well, thankfully, within Windows 10, there's a tool that you can use that can do that, and it's called the System Image Tool. So in this tutorial, I am gonna show you exactly how you create an image of your computer hard drive. Enjoy. So what you can see now is my Windows 10 PC screen. So the first thing we need to do is go to the control panel, which I'm gonna do by going to the start menu, right clicking and choosing control panel. Now in here, you may see lots of icons or you may see just a few icons. You might have different views. Uh, I always choose from this drop down small icons and it just gives me more options. So the menu I want to go into is called Backup and Restore Windows 7. And in here, we can see all the settings. So what we want to do is go to the left hand side and create a system image. Now that's gonna do a little search and we've got three options now. So we can back up to the hard drive that it's found. So if I go into my computer, and click on PC. You can see here that this is an external hard drive, a USB hard drive that I've just stuck into the computer and the PC has found it here. Now, if it's not finding it, what you can do is click on the drop down and maybe do a refresh. You've got a couple more options. You can you can back up your PC to a, a DVD if you've got a DVD writer. Or if you've got something like a, a NAS device, which is sat on your computer network, you can also do a backup over the network as well. But for starters, I'm just gonna make it really simple and stick to the hard disk. We'll then click next. And there's just some confirmation here that these drives are gonna be backed up. And what I'll do then is start the backup. Now that might take a while to do, so I'm not gonna keep you sat here waiting for it to finish. I'll pause the video and I will come back when it's completed. Okay, so it's now finished and I've got a prompt asking me if I want to create a system repair disk. Now, if you don't have the Windows installation DVD uh, that you might or may not have got with your PC, then I highly recommend that you go through and click on yes and then it'll ask to put a DVD in the drive and it will create the disc. I'm not gonna do that simply because I don't have any DVDs. So I'm gonna cancel that. Uh, and as you can see, the system image has now been successful and I can click on close. So after I've done that, what I can do is have a look at the external hard drive, which is here, it's my E drive. Now I've used this external hard drive for a couple of other things. So there's a few backups on here and everything else. So that's another thing to point out. You can use your external hard drive for file history and for your Windows image backups. So in here, this is my computer name. And you can see that all the files relating to the backup that I've just done are all in here so you've got your hard drive there look and all the, the files that you'll need so if I ever had a problem with my PC hard drive I would then use this external hard drive with the Windows DVD or the system repair DVD that we could have created earlier in the video so I hope that explains everything you need to know about backing up your applications and operating systems in Windows 10. I hope that tutorial has been helpful. If you've got any comments, please leave them below this video. You can also reach out to us on our Facebook page or our Twitter feed. And as always, keep those requests for new videos coming. We're always looking for new videos that we can create, so keep those requests coming in. And I'll see you again soon.